Hello, my friends. May God bless you all. May the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten your understanding because it's not enough for us to know the Word of God. We have to have the Holy Spirit because He gives us understanding of the Word. And that's why when Jesus, when the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus, He gave Him, Jesus, the Spirit of knowledge and the Spirit of understanding. Because if you know the Word but you don't understand it, then it won't resolve anything. It will not add anything to your life. So, may the Holy Spirit give you the spirit of understanding as well. Besides the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of understanding, of might, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of understanding so that you may be complete, complete. Perhaps by hearing this, you say, Amen, Amen, Amen. However, I don't want you to just agree with me. I want you to drink it, to receive it. Because if you say amen, but you don't receive it, then it's frustrating, isn't it? Anyway, you who are suffering right now, you who are groaning, groaning, see the word which God has for you right now, for you and for everybody else that is attentive, that has ears to hear his voice. Pay attention. He says like this, Behold, I have refined you, I have refined you, but not as silver. Not as silver. When silver is purified, is to put it on display, to be shown off. God didn't purify you for you to be showing off amongst the unbelievers, the wicked ones. What God has done, God purified you. He cleansed you so that you could exude His fragrance. It was for you to reflect His image wherever you go. But then you say, Bishop, did God purify me? So how am I here groaning? I'm so desperate. How come? Let me explain that to you. He says like this. He concludes this text saying like this. I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. God chose you in the furnace of affliction, as He's done with me. He chose me in the furnace of my affliction. I didn't know that at the time. I had no knowledge of that. But when I found it out, then I gave my life to Him, and He took me out of the furnace. I agreed with Him. I didn't just say, Amen. I gave myself to that promise. And that's what the Lord Jesus does to you right now. If you are in the furnace of affliction, of despair, of anguish, of torment, of depression, of anxiety, of fear, of the terror that lays waste by night, the destruction that lays waste by day, you are terrorized, afraid of everything and everyone, anxious, worried, preoccupied. You don't know what to do anymore. You are right in the midst of the furnace. 
Know therefore, dear friend, that God chooses His chosen ones in the furnace. Do you know why? Because as long as the person doesn't get to the furnace, as long as they don't get to the bottom of the bottom of the pit, then they will rely on their friends, their loved ones, money, their education, their capability, their intelligence. They rely on themselves and then it won't resolve the problem. They can count on whoever they want on this world, money, everything, but it won't resolve, it won't take them out of the furnace because the furnace burns in the soul of the person and what can be given to a soul that is in the furnace? Money, love, sex, clubbing, drinking, drugs. No, nothing gives pleasure to a soul that is in the furnace. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Because the soul, the soul was created by God and it was created with an aspiration. My soul, your soul, the soul of anybody that is alive has one desire, one desire that is greater than every other desire is the desire to have peace, isn't it? To have peace. If they have no peace, if your soul, my soul is not at peace, then it has nothing. You can give the world, you can put the world at its feet, but it won't resolve, it's pointless. And this is what is happening to you, isn't it? You have no peace. Perhaps you are a religious person, charitable, good, but you have no peace, no peace. You don't have it at all. And you are there groaning. Oh, my dear friend, let me just disable the comment section here because this is so glorious that it can't be shared, divided with anything else. Just with those who are suffering. Are you suffering? Are you in the furnace? It's because God chose you. He didn't take you there. You know that. He didn't lead you to the furnace. You led yourself. We are the ones who lead ourselves to the furnace with our mistakes, with our poor choices. We choose what is wrong because we were born already with this nature of wanting what is wrong of wanting to walk the way we want, to do what we want and not what God wants. So we only choose what is wrong and then we end up at the bottom of the pit. And that's what happened to you, to me and to all of us. But thank God, because if we came to the furnace, once we get to the furnace of affliction, wow! The pain of the soul is great, but there is a certainty which is in the mind. It has nothing to do with feelings, it has nothing to do with the soul. It's in the mind. The soul feels the fire of the furnace, but the mind continues to think. It has the right to think, which is the intelligence. So the intelligence says, no, I know, I'm here for my own own mistakes, my own choices, my bad choices, but knowing that God chose me, then I accept you, Lord. I marry you. I agree with you. I give myself to you. Amen. I say to you, Amen, Lord. I connect myself to you. Here from the earth, I connect to you there in heaven, accepting this word. You chose me. So I know that you will take me out of here as well. So I'm waiting right now that you will take me out of this situation. And in the name of Jesus, my dear friend, right now, in this very moment, you who are in the furnace, receive, receive peace. Receive peace, relief to your soul so that you may start to get out of this hole you are in, from this bottom of the pit you are in, by using your reasoning, your understanding, your intelligence, 
God chose me. Put this in your mind. God has chosen you. It's what he says here. And it's what I understand. He says like this. I have refined you. So to God, you have already been refined. He already sees you far ahead into the future in his arms. And that's why he says, I have tested you in the furnace of affliction. How wonderful is that, my friend? He has chosen you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter your mistakes your sins, it doesn't matter, your guilt, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter absolutely anything, he chose you, and this is more than enough, do you accept that? So, this becomes or is materialized in your life, this happens right now, because you accept, yes, I accept, I accept, I accept your hand because nobody else can help me. Nobody else up until today could help me. So I accept your powerful hand. I accept your forgiveness. I accept your mercy. I accept your love, your infinite love that is not a love that seeks its own interests. It's a pure love. It's a true love, sincere. I accept it, I accept it, I accept it. So, receive peace there now. God manifests himself in your life right now. And he puts out the fire from the furnace. And you start from now on, from this very moment, to walk away step by step to climb out of this hole day after day after day, step by step. Because as I said here the other day, God is not a magician. God is not a God of good luck. God is not a God of a set destiny. No, He chooses all those, everyone, everyone. He chooses everyone, which is many. But not everyone accepts God's choices. And they carry on relying on their own strength. And when this happens, many are called, but few are truly chosen. But you are chosen. May God bless you. May God bless you indeed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the Lord be merciful to you. May the Lord give you peace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we agree here, you and I, amen. Thank God. May God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Thank God.